Notifying my victory over the 25% vote in Abuja on call for Tinubu tells court. Mr. Tinubu gave his interpretations of the 25% of vote in two thirds of the state in the FCT in his final written address against P2B petition at the presidential election court. President Bola Tinubu has said it is on call to notify his victory in the last presidential election because he has failed to secure 25% of the lawful vote in the Federal Capital ter Territory, FCT, Abuja. He argued that the FCT shared the same status as every other state in Nigeria. Mr. Tenebu argued against the backdrop of Labour Party presidential candidate Peter B. Sud, urging that the presidential election caused in Abuja to invalidate the 25th uh, February presidential election. Mr. B. Peter B. called Todd in the come Todd in the race, but he has prayed the court to either declare presidential or order to or order a fresh pool based on different ground, including Mr. Tinobu failure to secure 25% vote in Abuja in the election. The Nigeria constitution requires the victorious president candidate not to only win the majority of lawful vote, but also secure 25% of votes in the last two third number of the state and AFCT. But Mr. Peter B. had argued in the petition challenging Mr. Tenable victory that the two third must be included, the FCT, for the candidate to validly declare the winner. However, in his final written address, date 14 July, Mr. Tenable led lawyer Wally Olai Nipaku urged the five members of the panel of the Court chaired by the Aruna to allow me to dismiss Mr. Peter B. suit for lacking in merit. Mr. Olani Peko, the senior advocate of Nigeria, said the FCT is like the seven states of the country and cannot be conferred as a special status. Referencing the sections 134-2B of the Nigeria Constitution, which talks about securing 35% votes in two thirds of Nigeria and the FCT, Mr. Ladipet drew the court attention to the fact that there is no punctuation comma in the entire sections of 134-2B of the Constitution, particularly. Immediately after the states and the succeeding, Connecting the federal capital territory with the state, he urged the court to interpret and set provision conjointly as other interpretation different from these will lead to absurdity, chaos, and anarchy. Alterations of the intentions of the legislation. In essence, the reading of the subjection has to be conjunctive and not disconjunctive, as the Constitution clearly makes it so. Press further by the constitution imperative that the federal capital territory Abuja is taken as if it was the 37 states under by the virtue of section 2999 of the constitution. The lawyer for the contender that Mr. Peter B. remote argument that Mr. Tina Victor should be nullified on the account of not scoring 25 percent of one quarter of the vote according to the FCT lack legal backing as used in the constitution to conjunctive and disconjunctive. The People Democratic Party president candidate Atiku Abubakar is also challenging the presidential election outcome. Atiku raised similar issue bordering on the inability of Nigeria Electoral Commission INEC failure to electrocanic electro can it transmit pulling unit results of the elections to it to a viewing part why Mr. Pito why Mr. Pitinobu Pool eight million seven hundred and ninety four seven two one votes. Atiku score six million nine eight four five two zero. And Mr. Peter B. Gardner six one oh five three million votes. Mr. Peter B. Witness testimony essay during the trial. Mr. Billy caught at the witness and tendered tons of electoral document as evidence. Also during the three week week hearing of Case Mr. Peter B challenged the authenticity of Mr. B of Tinobu academic record, alleged him of drug trafficking in the U.S. amongst other issues. But Mr. Lineberg has described the witness testimonies as frivolous, bungos, and essay. 
Mr. Peter B. Major grows with the pool was that the result of the presidential election was not uploaded on the INEC Resort View Reporter on the day of the elections. And in his argument, Mr. Lightning could say that Section 60 of Electoral Act give INEC the procurative to prescribe the mode of transfer of result, whether the electric or manually. Concerning Mr. Peter B. Sood, Mr. Lineker could say that the Labour Party candidate was still a member of PDP as of 24 May 2022 as the presidential aspirants of the party. He pointed that the electoral ad provided that an aspirant for elective office must be a political party member. 30 days before the conduct of primary election, Mr. Lineker said that Mr. Peter B. was not a member of the Labour Party at the time of the party primary elections on 30 May 2022. This is the matter. So that's why the allotships are also saying they needed cooperation. We needed cooperation. And that cooperation is what we have agreed will extend to ourselves. But as um, as a council, if we are, we are faced with um, challenges, it's our duty to report back to the court because uh, we are not uh, experts in jungle. We are, we, are, we are lawyers, well trained, and we need to let the court know what we are going through. And the court had heard us, and their lordships have admonished us to do what we needed to do, and we will do it. I don't understand how Pusha is a witness. So he's a witness. He's a witness. And he's a witness. So he has come to, he has come. So, so he has not been discharged. So I do not have the capacity to de determine whether the witness is crucial or not cru crucial. All we need to do is to produce evidence for their lordship to de decide whether the witness is crucial or not no. crucial. It does not lie within my, I am doing my case. We are doing our case. We, the allegations, we are bringing evidence that we think are relevant for the court to determine. So the court will look at it, but to answer you that is crucial, it will be, you know, assuming a function. We need a new Nigeria. A Nigeria where those of us, people who we are son of nobody, will be great, live well, have a job, earn a living. That's all we want. And I'm sure it's good on their own will play their part. We will continue to play our part. I enjoy all of you to know that this new Nigeria is not going to be easy because we have people who have lived up this confusion for a long time. They are not going to walk away. All of us must stay.